everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, this um, turned out to be quite a good thing to have to do, to be fair, but this was a full set of milk bath press-ons that someone asked me for. One of my clients ordered them. Um, luckily, I decided to record it because I usually save my lives on Instagram, on IGTV, but Instagram has put me in jail and they are not letting me save them, which is really annoying and I didn't know that that was going to be the case until after I'd already done the live. So luckily I recorded myself doing this set so I am able to still show you how to do milk bath nails with gel polish um, without having to basically do a whole nother set of milk bath. Luckily I decided to just film these. Anyway, I've just gone in with a coat of Fresh as a Daisy from Magpie. You don't need to use a milky white if you don't have one. You can just use white mixed with clear. Um, just try and get your ratio right to white and clear because if you put too much white it'll be obviously too white and if you put too much clear it'll be too see-through and it won't really do much good so this is the first coat of fresh as a daisy that i've done i'm now i didn't cure that i'm now putting these flowers onto the wet layer of that fresh as a daisy um i'm only putting a couple of flowers on these were quite busy because they're quite short but my client likes a lot of flowers so i have well Basically, she looked at a picture of some I'd already done that had a lot of flowers on, so I copied those. Um, so I'm going in now with the first lot of flowers. These ones are going to be pretty much covered up, so you don't want to put the ones that you want to be most prominent on now because you're not going to see them very clearly at the end. These are the ones that are going to be in the bath as such. You'll notice that I'm not doing the ring fingers. We were basically questioning whether to put some glitter on there or a colour or something like that, just something different to break them up. So I said to her that I'd do the four other nails of each hand and then I'd send her a picture of what they look like and then she can decide what she wants on the ring fingers. She did end up just saying that she really liked the flowers and that she'd be happy to have all ten of those. So I added those in at the end and you will see the picture of them. So I'm still just popping some flowers in here. I didn't really have a colour scheme for this set. Um, unfortunately her favourite colours are purple but I hadn't really got many left because I had used them for basically for the nails that I was using to do on the live so it didn't really have a lot of excess but she was happy with them in the end so that's all that matters I'm just finding any old little bits of flower and just popping them on and then I will go over the top with another coat of fresh as a daisy Okay, so before I forgot, I nearly put them in the lamp, but luckily I remembered because I looked up and saw the glitter. I'm just popping a couple of bits of glitter on as well. Um, you don't need to do this. You can wait until the last coat if you want to add a bit of glitter. I just like the little bit of depth that you get when you put the Fresh as a Daisy over glitter. I'm only using an iridescent one. Um, this one is Bianca from Magpie. Um, but I don't know, I just like... I like the different effects it gives so having it just the texture really mainly um, and then I do apply some more on top of the next layer and when I've applied this glitter I will pop it into the lamp for 60 seconds to set everything in place. Okay, so this is my next coat of Fresh as a Daisy, literally just painting over as if those flowers weren't there, just like you would if they weren't basically, just another coat of colour and I'm doing that on all four and then into that layer, do not cure that one either, we're going to put more flowers in.
so just make sure that your flowers are flat to the nail well as much as they can be you will get little bits that stick up because obviously some parts are thicker than others but just make sure that the bits that can be flat are um, it will just help you in the long run you'll have a lot less faffing to do at the end of making sure everything's nice and smooth so my phone is out of camera out of shot for quite a while not out of shot out of focus for quite a while which is really frustrating I am just sitting here hoping that eventually I do realise. <laughs> um, so for these little flowers, I literally just use some tweezers. You can use um, scissors to cut them if you want, or you can use um, a cuticle pusher. You just need to put a little bit of pressure on the stems and they break really, really easily because they're really fragile. So I'm just using these to fill in any gaps, obviously depending how much you want them to be full coverage flower or if you want them to be nice and a bit sparse, like that's completely up to you. Um, but I wanted them to be quite full on flowery so I pretty much filled every gap there was and then just popped a little bit of glitter on at the end. Okay, so I've cured that coat. I'm now using Blue Skies Hard Gel, um, mainly just because I am converting over to Magpie completely, but I'm not going to be able to do that until I have used all of my previous brand products. So this hard gel is really helpful for press-ons because it's nice and thin, but it's thick enough to actually make a difference. I love Give Me Strength for natural nails and stuff like that, but for, I just find that for stuff like this that's quite raised, I prefer to use the Blue Sky one just because... I don't want to waste my Give Me Strength, to be honest, because obviously I am going to be using that on clients. So I'd rather keep that ready for reopening so I don't have to restock on things before I open. Um, and the only way I'm ever going to use all my Blue Sky stuff up and be able to transfer completely over to Magpie is to use it. <laughs> so obviously you can use Give Me Strength at this stage. You can use Build Me Up. like You can do whatever you want. It's basically encapsulating this stage is literally just to smooth it all out because if you look from the side profile which i don't think i'll show you which is quite frustrating um you can see that there are some lumps and bumps from where the flowers are sitting on top of the gel that's absolutely fine you just need to make sure to oh i think i do show you in this bit actually i'm just showing you how to basically float that over the top so now that i've and there you go you can see that it's nice and smooth there are no bumps or anything it's literally just smooth you wouldn't know if there was anything there and then when i have done that all that's left to do is top coat obviously it should go without saying but i completely forgot i should say um i wouldn't usually mix and match brands when i'm actually working on a client but because these are not actually touching her nails or anyone's skin and stuff like that because they are just press-ons i am fine with mixing brands but i wouldn't usually i always use a full system so I'm just top coating now and that is it for this set um, they'll be completely finished and then I'll put a photo in at the end so I hope you like them. Thank you so much for watching, I hope it was useful, if not and you have any questions still then please feel free to message me or comment. Thank you, bye!